Hi there. Um, I'd like to take a few minutes and show you how to set up your own YouTube channel so that you can take videos and upload them into YouTube so they are easily accessible uh, by your students and, and also um, so that they can be auto captioned uh, by YouTube, which is a tremendous labor saver. Okay, so the first thing you need to do in creating a YouTube channel is to sign in to YouTube. So here I'm already signed in. Um, you click on this icon in the corner and you see I'm signed in with my South Seattle.edu Google account. Um, so if you are if um, if you are an employee of South Seattle College, you should have your very own Google account. Um, Mine just happens to be doug.rupik at southseattle.edu. It's also in, it's my Gmail address. Um, so all South Seattle uh, faculty have this type of address. Uh, log into that and then go to YouTube and you will automatically be logged into your YouTube account. Okay, so that is step one. Log into your Google account, um, then log into YouTube and you would be in your account. Okay, step two. Okay, go to this icon and click on the icon and then you want to go all the way down here to this gear. I've always I've always thought that that looked like a daisy or something, but that's supposed to be a gear, like a machine. Um, and click on settings. Okay, and that should take you to this page. I'm going to move this over here. And now you want to find where it says create new channel okay um, so settings ch -ch 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 -ch. create new channel right here right in the middle of the screen click on that and that should take you to the next page okay so we're going to click on create a new channel and we're going to give this channel a name um, so I'm going to name this channel UOUGUPIK um, Instructions. Okay, so now I'm going to create, uh, let's capitalize the I just because I'm perfectionist. Okay, so I'm going to create this and by create and by clicking create, you agree to YouTube's terms of service. Um, so if you want to use YouTube, you have no choice but to click create. So go ahead and click that. Okay, it is working. Okay, so now we have our channel set up. Okay, so now that we've created a channel, we've named the channel, um, we're going to upload a video. So I'm going to click on upload a video. So upload video. And now we have select file. So you can, if you have, um, I'm going to pull this, I have two screens. I'm going to pull this over here. You could just grab a file and drag it over there. Um, or I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a file and this will go to um, this PC and I am going to scroll down to find a video that I want to upload and uh, let's see uh, let's go to here's one called welding symbols and I'm gonna I clicked on welding symbols I'm going to open that and now uh, YouTube is taking the video I've selected and it's uploading it now right here um, it gives us a video link. Let's move this over here. It's given us a link. So you can copy this link and you can paste that into, say, a Canvas page. You can paste it into an email. You can paste it onto a Facebook page. But that right there is, even before it's finished uploading the video that I've selected, it's given it an address um, that you can that, that is unique to that video that you can use um, to direct people to where this video is. 
So this is, um, you're going to want to give it a name. So the name is welding symbols. You can have a description. Um, this video is um, a lecture on welding welding symbols. Uh, welding symbols. Sorry about that. Welding symbols. And it's uploading a thumbnail. You can select or upload a picture that shows what's in your video. I'm not going to do that. Um, now it's got some questions you want. Now see, I'm scrolling down. I've, I've given it a title. I've given it a description. I'm scrolling down. It's updating. It's uploading the video. Um, playlists. I don't want to put it on the playlist, so I'm done with that. Um, is the video made for kids? Yes or no? And in this case, no, it's not made for kids. Um, age restriction. Do I want to restrict my video to an adult audience? No, I, you know, there's not a whole lot about welding symbols that really is um, morally questionable. So, uh, no, I don't want to restrict it, but it's not a kid's video. It's, it's, it's a, a college video. More options. Don't, not interested in more options. Um, so now I'm going to hit next because I've, I've done everything that I want to do here. I don't want to give it a picture. Um, I don't want to put it on a playlist. Uh, I've answered the questions about 18 and older and that kind of stuff. More options, um, tags, subtitles, more. If you want, you can click that. And what it helps is it helps people find it when they search for it. Uh, next, let's see, video elements. Uh, I'm not going to do that. This is an important one, visibility. So you have three options. You can make this a public video, which means anybody that Googles on the internet can find your video. Um, you can make it an unlisted video, um, which means anybody that has your link can go to your video. Uh, but they can't find it. They, you can't search for it and find it. The only way people can get there is if um, they have the link. And then private means that only the people you choose to allow to see it can see it. Now, my videos that I use for my classes, I put in unlisted um, because um, if I put it as private, that would mean I would have to get the email address of everybody in my class and enter them as being the only people who can see it. If I want to use my videos for more than one class, that means I've got to do that for every class. Um, and I'm not, me personally, I'm not that paranoid um, to where, you know, I, I want to restrict my audience that much. I post my videos as unlisted. If you want to make yours private and go through all the hoops of identifying exactly who you want to be able to see it. Um, more power to you. Um, me personally, I'm okay with it just being unlisted. Okay, so uh, it's still processing the video. Schedule. Select a date to make your video public. Um, I'm not, again, I don't want my videos public um, because I don't want just anybody looking at them. I want, but I'm, at the other end, I'm still, you know, anyway. Um, check the following. Do kids appear in the video? Um, looking for overall content guidance. Um, remember FERPA. If you are taking Zoom videos and putting them on YouTube and there are other people in them, specifically students, you need to um, make sure that you have their permission and, and so forth. Me personally, I generally don't take the risk. Um, I don't... Um, Unless I have a signed consent form from the student, I don't post their images on social media or the interwebs. Uh, okay, so I've got all my settings here. I'm going to save this. And it's still processing. So, and it'll come up unlisted. So, one thing you do want to do is you want to um, 
take notes of uh, your account names and your passwords and write this stuff down in a place where you will not lose it. Um, I'm not worried about that because uh, you're going to want to be able to get to this and you're going to want to add more stuff to your channel. So, um, so creating a channel, number one, you sign into Google, you get your account going on, then sign into YouTube, which automatically syncs with your Google account. You want to uh, click on the little gear icon and go to uh, settings. Um, click on create a new channel, uh, give it a name, and then click create, and then upload the videos you want, and then go through, there's like three pages uh, to set the settings. You also want to, um, let me, all right, so there, I don't know if you noticed a little skip. Anyway, um, one thing I did skip over pretty quickly was the subtitles. Now, the thing is, is YouTube will caption this by itself automatically. It takes about 20 minutes for it to do the work. Um, but the only thing you, you really need to do as far as subtitles goes is select English or whatever language you want to select. And um, United States English. And that is under the edit. Let's see. So I'm going to go back. Where did it go? Let's go back to videos. Detail my video, channel videos. Okay, so here's my videos that I've loaded. And you click on the little edit button for details. And go to more options. And subtitles. You can upload your own subtitles. If you don't, YouTube will do it automatically. You can also go over here. Um, to this left side and select your um, subtitles here and these like I said it's gonna it's going to um, generate them by its by themselves that's one of the nice things about YouTube you can um, use whatever program you want uh, whether it's a generic program that came with your your computer uh, you can take an mp4 file of your video and upload it to YouTube, and YouTube will automatically generate captions for it. So I'm going to go back to um, my videos, and you can. This is my my channel videos, my dashboard. I'm going to go back to my channel, and uh, let's see where uh, my videos. Where's my videos? There they are, and. There they are. This is my channel that I've created. I've uploaded two videos, um, uh, set it for English and all the little, little different settings, you know, about not made for kids and, you know, it's not been broadcast on TV before. And in about 20 minutes, YouTube will auto caption them um, itself. So thank you for your time. Hope I haven't rambled too much. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, doug.rupik at seattlecolleges.edu. Thank you.